Not long ago, the parents of Jalen Willie delivered the somber news at Prince George's County shock trauma. The 16-year-old member of the swim team at Great Mills High School would be coming off life support this evening. Now, community members had set up fundraising pages for both of the shooting victims. 16-year-old Jalen Willie was shot in the head, according to her parents. They say she was the second of nine children. 14-year-old Desmond Barnes was shot in the leg. His mother wrote on a web page that Barnes is, quote, resting and simply grateful. The St. Mary's County Sheriff says Willie was shot by her ex-boyfriend, 17-year-old Austin Rollins. However, it's not clear if Barnes was also shot by Rollins or if he was caught in the crossfire when the school resource officer fired his gun. Rollins died, but the sheriff has not confirmed if his deputy killed Rollins or if Rollins killed himself. And this night, loved ones of Jalen Willie hugged each other tightly before Jalen's mom talked about the difficult decision to take her second oldest child off life support. My daughter was hurt by a boy who shot her in the head. And, 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 and took everything from our lives that's different. It, it will be different forever. And at the time she made that statement, she went on to say her daughter was brain dead and had, quote, no life left in her. And Governor Larry Hogan has reacted tonight and putting out this statement, quote, it is with terribly broken hearts that we learn of the tragic news regarding Jalen Willie. No parent should ever be faced with a decision like this. There are no words adequate to express our compassion for her loving family and the entire Great Mills community. And speaking of whom, students at Great Mills High will go back to school after spring break on April 2nd. Andre Hepkins, WBAL TV 11 News. Andre, thank you. And our thoughts go out to the Woolley family tonight as well.